Today's been alright, yeah, we got through um, we got through a new song, maybe we'll have a new recording by next week, who knows. Um, is that really the important thing, is this why, is this why you're here? I'll tell you the biggest mistake I made was going on a date with a girl and it was a first date and I decided, yeah, I'll just be that cool guy and I'll lend her some comic books. Just because I thought maybe that's a way like we can talk about that later and then just Didn't hear from her ever again. I, I even like two weeks later was like hey like Maybe you're done reading those things. Could I have them back and then just nothing So I'll never make that a mistake again. My worst date was when I was about 14 I went to watch Van Helsing with a girl at the cinema in Manchester and It was a blind date never seen her before my brother set me up and he knew what he was doing and uh, she's, met, I met her outside the school and I remember walking past thinking, I hope it's not her, I hope it's not her. And, and it was her. Uh, so uh, she recognised me as well. So I couldn't, I couldn't just walk off because uh, me and my brother looked pretty similar. Uh, so we went, went to town, watched the film. It was, uh, it was awkward. Didn't really speak to her for the whole time. And then she texted me when I got home. Uh, and I was like, I know, I'm not interested. Uh, just, I'm just not interested. And she said, um, my dad works for the buses and he can get you a free bus pass for the year. And I said, I'm still not interested. <laughs> I'd rather pay for the bus. It was only 32p, I think, at the time. So my worst date, the, the date itself wasn't actually that bad. It's what happened after the date that was horrifying. Um, and I mean that, it was horrifying. The date itself was actually quite nice. We went to see a band. They were shit, but we had a pizza and then we went back to her house and everything was looking good. Until what I can only describe as a true switch in character happened and this woman turned into a complete and utter psychopath. And her housemate had sent her a text and then she ended up knocking on his door with a hammer telling him to die. I was there just in my boxes like, what the fuck's going on? And so I left, obviously, post haste. And um, in the intervening weeks, I ended up getting these text messages saying, I can see you. I know I can see you walking down Oldham Street, blah, 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 blah. And I got really fucking freaked out, right? And um, I ended up shaving my head on a drunken night after, uh, after the Moss Side Carnival. Got completely shaved my head and looked like an absolute Nazi again. And uh, she texts me, like three days later, going, I can see you, you've shaved your head, and I, I called the police. Actually, I, I had a girlfriend for a while who was just, just awful every time I saw her. She was just deeply unpleasant in every possible way. So I guess my worst date was any time at all that I spent with or around her. My worst date... Ugh. See, I, I have told my girlfriend about this, but it is quite a sketchy story. Um, went out with this girl and brought her back and it was going fine. <laughs> and then when, when we were kind of like uh, doing stuff, um, she said, get off me. <laughs> Which sounds really, really bad. I wasn't doing anything weird. Um, and... So, so I went, okay. So I stopped and then I was like, are you okay? And then she went, I hate him. And I was like, whoa, this is really bad. So I was like, do you want to, do you want to use my Uber or anything like that? So we just, I was, I was waiting with a crying girl for about 20 minutes trying to get an Uber and then and you know what? We actually went on a second date. I don't know whether that's cool. It's, it's not cool, but I don't know whether that's <laughs> gonna make it in the car. <laughs> Sounds very rapey. <laughs> the worst date was probably, it, it was probably the worst because it was the most mundane. It was a really shit Tinder date where we met for a movie and we sort of just said hi and then went in and watched the movie, which was a big fucking mistake, because you should probably talk to the person a little bit more before you sit in the dark quietly with them. Um, and then the movie was terrible, and then when it finished, we just sort of left, and then decided to take the same bus home 
and sat kind of in relative silence until I think I got off first and then I remember even turning around as the bus drove away to wave and she was just like pointedly looking into you her phone. You have the same story as me! <laughs> it's awful! Did you go on a date together? <laughs> <laughs> it was just, it was just Josh in a wig. Have you ever kissed anyone who um, you didn't want to kiss? You felt you were forced to kiss? Oh god, yeah. Yeah, I have. That, that was um, that was at a works party a long time ago. She was an older lady. And so how did she seduce you? She didn't. To be honest, we were just drunk and people were egging us on. So I did. Well, I remember a very, very drunken teenage house party where I ended up um, kissing this girl. And, uh, I don't really remember the exact circumstances. It was just, you know, when you're like 14, 15, you've been drinking very, very heavily. And we just sort of ended up uh, entangled with each other. It was very clumsy and, and unpleasant. Not good for anyone involved, really. God, God, yeah, most of the girls I've ever kissed in my life have been against their will. Not in a rapey way, <laughs> like, like it's, it's been consensual, but they've been like, oh, why did I do that afterwards? I've, I've many a time I've woken up on a Saturday morning to a text from a girl going, I shouldn't have kissed you last night. I was too drunk. Don't text me again. No, I had, at the end of a date, someone asked me to kiss them, but their breath was so atrocious that I could smell it from like a, a foot and a half away, and there was just no fucking way it was happening. Oh. I just, and, and the girl even said, kiss me. And I just went, no, <laughs> just no, sorry. Have a good night. That was it. Brutal. It was just not happening, I'm sorry. <laughs> when there's no vibe for the whole date, you can't just go up to someone at the end and go, kiss me.